Well, I'm back. Gone on holidays for a bit. We went camping. Took the family out. Got lots of videos of Daryl doing lots of spraying and lots of that. That stuff's gonna come. I'm gonna get to making videos, uh, getting, getting some videos coming of that. And we had our alfalfa cut a little while ago. Just a little bit. And I just went out and checked. And I'm thinking I can bail. I'm thinking I can go out and bail what he had cut. Been following along, I uh, we burnt our baler last fall at the right at the end of uh, baling season when we were baling straw, and we actually haven't got our new baler yet. It's uh, actually supposed to have arrived, I think, just a day or two ago yesterday, but we haven't got it yet. So the little Morden dropped off a loaner just so that in case we could go that we wouldn't have to be waiting so I'm gonna get hooked up this thing's all ready to go Peter got it ready and I'm gonna go make bales hopefully everything works Yeah, I changed the PTO shaft. This one runs on 540. Pretty sure my last one ran on 1000, so. All I do is I pull clip off the back. Shaft is clean. Pull this one out. See, let's pull the thousand out. <clears throat> Very easy to change. Done. And put the hydraulics up. All this does is lowers and raises and lowers my my pickup down here. There. Well, crops are growing pretty good. Yeah, I noticed a good change from when we left on holidays to when we got back. We were gone for about a week, gone to the lake. Did some fishing, did some relaxing back to work so get back to making some videos uh, get caught up on stuff like that Daryl like a Daryl has done a whole bunch of taping while I was gone haven't had the chance to get to that so hopefully in the next uh, day or two I'll start going over what you all recorded and <clears throat> yeah but right now I'm gonna bail this field hopefully bail this up And uh, yeah, getting back from holidays sometimes takes a bit to get back into the swing of things. But crops are looking good. Like I said, I, uh, I've i never bailed alfalfa. You may wonder how are you a cattle farmer and you've never bailed alfalfa? Well, we always feed corn silage and <coughs> and uh, oat straw, and we've never grown alfalfa to bale for ourselves. So that's why this is new. So we're gonna give this a go.
that's the first bale I've made. Now let's go see what it looks like. Woo! That looks pretty darn good. Nice. Still a bit green. There obviously was some stuff in there before we got the bale. Well, there we go. My first bale of, uh, it's a lot easier than straw behind a gleaner combine, I'll tell you that much. Well, I think that'll work. We'll keep going. There's not a lot here on that first bit. That's why we waited a bit longer. Let the alfalfa grow a bit taller. It's starting to get flowering. So I'm gonna quickly bale this up and then at least the other stuff can get growing again. So get this done. I want my latch. Opened it up before and it obviously didn't catch. So there, good to go. So as I'm going, I gotta keep my levels. That's my right side is yellow. That means I gotta fill my left side. You don't want the, you want them going green up together. So I gotta move the tractor from left side to right to make sure I'm filling my bale properly so I don't I make them nice and square. So this is my indicator and then 44 inches, that's how big it is right now. And I'm only making them 62 inches. I had mixed feelings. Some said, oh no, make them 70. Some said, make them 60. No, we'll go with 62. It seems like a good number. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot there, but we're getting bales, so it's a bonus. Hard to see, windows are dirty. I was hoping to get 10 bales off all of this. I don't think I'll quite do that, but we'll see what we get. That outside around in the field really didn't have a whole lot there at all. So as we get more into the field, you can see there's some, there's some good alfalfa here. It's uh, really thick. It's getting about knee height. Getting time to cut. Look at that, we're gonna end up almost exactly the same spot as the last bale. Perfect. So now what it's doing is, you can see the small squares means it's wrapping it. And I do 2.6 uh, revolutions. Let's see how square this one ends up. And now it's kicking it. That back part says it's kicking the bale out. And that other piece right there was my kicker. That kicks the bale far enough away so that my end gate can close. And then I'm going again. Mesh wrap doesn't take very long. Twine takes a lot longer. Some people don't like. Some people don't like mesh wrap. Some people don't like mesh wrap. Some people don't like twine. Twine's just like I said, it's a lot quicker in the field. It doesn't take. Uh, sorry, mesh wrap in the field is a lot quicker. It doesn't take as long to make a bale. I just have this headland to do, and then the far headland to do, and then. That's it. So my second bale, looks like it worked out pretty good. It's pretty square, so I'll keep going. Well, I'm on my last pass. I've made seven bales so far. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make a full one, but we'll see, see how close it goes. That did not take very long, but um, yeah, we're back in the field. I'm making some alfalfa. This is a lot, this is a lot of fun, but before I get going, I'm, the REC isn't working, and uh, as you can tell, I'm sweating like a pig in here. It uh, it sucks, but happy for the warmth. But uh, when we get to going full, uh, when I got the rest of the field to do, I'm gonna want to get that AC fixed. So got seven bales, like I said, and a half a mile to go. And this perimeter, there wasn't really much there anyway. So I don't all get a bale out of it, and that'll be a wrap. Well, I got seven bales done and just about the eighth. Brought a couple back here. So yeah, by the looks of that, I'm guessing we should be, uh, because that was quite a while ago that we actually cut that down. It'd be just over oh, 12 days ago. And uh, oh man, I'm looking forward to the AC in the house tonight. It is June 9th. 
Saturday evening. And uh, yeah, like I said before, I haven't been doing a whole lot of videos since, uh, well, it's been almost 10 days. So sorry about that. I hope you guys, uh, I've got a lot more videos coming. Harvest is around the corner, six weeks, crops are looking good. Hopefully they can keep on coming. And uh, yeah, hopefully get out baling. We're hoping to cut this field. The plan is to cut it Monday evening, Tuesday-ish kind of a thing. And the hopes is that we can bale it on in a week from today. So that's the hopes. So I got a week to get my AC fixed. And by then I actually might have my new baler. This is a loaner from LMS until my new baler comes in. And if you look back on some of my other videos, uh, we've never done this before. <clears throat> On our farm, we always had alfalfa in our rotation. Uh, it was with a neighbor who uh, we rented land from. And so we've always had alfalfa in our rotation, but we've always seeded our alfalfa, I believe, we've always done it in spring. This last, like a year ago, that catch never caught. So we actually seeded our alfalfa in spring, didn't work. Then we seeded again in fall. I did a video on that. Um, Never done it, didn't know how it was going to work out. As I'm looking at this right now, I think it worked out pretty awesome. It's thick, it's uh, it's thick, it's knee high. Um, yeah, there's a lot of alfalfa here, so I'm hoping I can get I have no idea, but I'm hoping I can get two two bales an acre. But I, I really don't know. This is a whole new game for us. Um, yeah, always grew it for the neighbor, but never used it for ourselves. So thanks for taking the time to watch.